Nicole, the math lady. Today we're talking about the area of a circle. As you might remember, we have thus far we've dealt with the circumference of a circle. Remember, the circumference means the distance all the way around the outside of the circle. And that was, if you remember, circumference equals pi times diameter. You might remember that pi is a mathematical phrase that we approximate to equaling 3.14, if we're going to use it as a decimal, or we use it as 22 sevenths as a fraction. Now, the good news is we can use the same pi to you figure out the area of a circle. And you might remember, I'm looking for a marker, there we go, the area is really the full inside of the circle. So that has a separate uh, a, a formula. So here we go. The area equals, we're going to start with pi, but this time, whereas our circumference used diameter, which was the full way going across here, right? It was this full cut across of a circle. Half of that is the radius, right? From here to here is the radius. So we're going to use the radius, but in this instance, we square it. So it's the radius squared is our formula. Area equals pi times radius squared. Take a look at this example. We have a circle whose radius is two inches. So let's plug and play into our formula. The area is going to equal pi. For this instance, I'd like to use 3.14 for pi. Okay, and actually, even though I wrote equal, I should say the squiggly lines, which is the approximation of pi, because it's 3.14, blah, 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 it goes on for like ever. So 3.14 is the approximation, and now radius squared. Well, the radius is 2, but we're going to square it. 2 squared is 4, so this is going to be 3.14 times 4. And we can just do that as a multiplication problem. 3.14 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5. And 4 times 3 is 12. So we're not done. 1,256 inches. And again, whenever we're dealing with area, we're going to put in a squared. Oh, wait, I went too fast. I forgot about my decimal. I knew that didn't sound right. <laughs> Here we go. I got to put my decimal point in, which means, whoa, there we go, 12.56 inches squared. Now that's my answer. Never forget that decimal. Here's another example. This time I have a circle that has a diameter. Remember, diameter goes from one edge to the other of 14 centimeters. So let's put it into our formula. This time I want you to use the fraction. So we're going to say area equals 22 sevenths times our radius. Well, our radius is not 14. Our radius is going to be half of 14. It's just this piece, piece which is 7. So we're going to take, take it 7 squared. Okay, so let's rewrite it. Area is 22 sevenths times 7 times 7 is 49. That's what 7 squared is. And now, to make life easy, we can do some canceling before we multiply, because who wants to multiply all those big numbers? So, 7 goes into 7 one time, 7 goes into 49 seven times. Now all we have to do is multiply 22 times 7, which by the way, 7 times 2 is 14. We're going to carry that one. 7 times 2 is 14, plus 1 more is 15. 154 centimeters squared. That's our answer. And that's it. It's really that simple. Just go ahead, plug and play, put in the formula. We will tell you whether or not you should use 3.14 or 22 sevenths. And make sure it's the radius you're squaring, not the diameter. That's it for me today. It's Nicole the Math Lady. Definitely try the practice problems on the website. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.